Um, I've been involved in several greenfields jobs with Asenco QCC um, and many of those have involved uh, the complete design of a full preparation plant from clean sheet through to final commissioning. This particular project, Gunilla Disc Filter Upgrade, holds special satisfaction for me because uh, that particular process plant was the first one that I worked in after, after I studied. Okay, there were, there were some unique challenges. Um, in particular, the new equipment that was going to be installed um, was a different shape to the, to the existing equipment and uh, had, had to fit into the existing space. That in itself presented a challenge. How best to replace the three filters, certainly how, how to physically remove the old filters from the building and introduce the new filters, how best to match up the filters to the existing processing plant. And one fairly stringent requirement was the processing plant had to continue to operate throughout the installation and commissioning um, of all three of these filters. Uh, so that led to a staged approach um, in, in which one filter was done, made functional and then commissioned um, before the next one was taken out of service. Uh, pr primarily, Senko QCC had a good collaborative approach with the filter vendor. Um, the filter vendor is based in Germany uh, so that meant that we had regular meetings um, between Germany and Australia um, to discuss the design and incorporation of the filters in, into the process plant. As well, an innovative means of lifting the equipment into the processing plant was developed, um, which included a monorail system on the floor at, or attached to the floor above the filters. Specifically, that monorail system was used because of advantages in, in terms of reliably being able to lift equipment into and out of the plant and the ability to do that safely. After that monorail system was utilised for the job, it remained in place as well for, um, for maintenance reasons, which was another advantage. Overall, the outcome of the project was that fine coal within the processing plant is much more efficiently filtered. Within the plant now, the operation and maintenance team can process the same amount of coal with two filters instead of three. That has operational advantages because they can take a filter offline to replace the bats and do maintenance at any time they want. Going forward in the coal industry in the next five to 10 years, I believe there'll be ongoing pressure on end users in the steel industry, um, the power industry and cement industry. Due to that pressure, there will be an upstream focus on utilising coal more efficiently and, and making best use of the resource. There will be a requirement to adapt to customers' needs for the overall best case environmental outcomes. And another thing that we're seeing already, we're already doing work on it, is the elimination of um, wet tailings dams. So in particular, there's been a, a heavy focus on, um, on, on dry tailings and eliminating wet tailings in the industry.